Okay, so I'm starting this video on the Callus Edge 2 Pro, which has the excellent Rockchip RK3588S processor, which is now going to be available in the Orange Pi 5 from $60 and up. Now this is by far the cheapest I've seen this processor available, uh, but it is a pre-order price and also it is a very stripped down model compared to things like the Mechatronics and also the Caddis. But I always like to see budget options come on the market, especially in these times when things are so expensive. And thanks to the comment from Vincent Nuna, Orange Pi 5 is now available in pre-order on AliExpress today. The price is really cheap compared to Caddis. And uh, so this is my order. You can see 5303, it's actually 7435 shipped, but I think that's that's very, very good value. I'm, I'm actually surprised loads of manufacturers are using this chip, and uh, I wonder if it will appear in the Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, I was thinking no way before, but when I see a price like this, I'm thinking, well, possibly. I've always thought it would be really nice to have a bit more of a premium Pi. Uh, so always have that option uh, if it's available, the sort of $35 option but also uh, because the community is so big, to give them a, a more powerful device as well would be excellent. So eight core processor, 64 bit, up to 2.4 gigahertz clock speed. You can see there's loads of size variations available, right up to 32 gig of RAM, LPDDR4, supports 8K, which I've tested on the Mechatronics, HDMI 2.1, USB 2 and 3, USB-C power, still got a card slot and some header pins and they talk about the performance and it is really impressive i've, I've got what three or four uh, with this processor and all of them have been really really nice but i haven't tried any with four gig of ram which i'll be really interested in trying and it's gigabit ethernet i really like the fact that it supports nvme ssd drives that that's really nice fast storage which can actually be just connected to the bottom of the board and the usb c socket supports video output as well so we can have dual screen output, not two HDMI's like the Pi 4, but one USB-C and one HDMI. They always support Android on these SBCs. It's got an analog jack as well, camera connections, LCD output, a microphone. Now I haven't tried an Orange Pi device before, but it's got this 16 megabyte flash. Uh, whether that's for sort of installing operating systems, a bit like the CADIS does, although the CADIS has EMMC drives on it. There's that NVMe slot. And it talks about uh, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0, but from what I've read, sort of going through the specs, it looks like you need that as a separate module. And it looks like it goes into the M.2 slot. So I'll be using it with an NVMe drive, but uh, I can always use, well, I generally use Ethernet. And for Bluetooth, I've got a little Bluetooth USB device. So that's fine by me. Five volt, four amp power supply. The Pi one will work on it fine, I'm sure. I'm using it now on my Callus one. So operating systems, Orange Pi do their own one, a bit like Raspberry Pi OS. I haven't tried it yet, I don't know what it's like. Uh, Arch Linux, Ubuntu, Debian, and Android 12. And there's been a few stories on, I think CNX is this one. Yeah, CNX did this one. It was initially unveiled with up to 32 gig of RAM and 32 eMMC flash. And then they talk about the, the real budget offerings, the four gig of RAM and the eight gig of RAM with no flash storage. Talks about the prices on Amazon or AliExpress. Oh, I'll have to see if I can find an Amazon link. Uh, I signed up for the AliExpress affiliates links, but these aren't included in it. First boards will ship in December, and these prices are available until November the 30th. And then it goes up, but still reasonable, to $68 and $83 for the eight gig. Oh, and then it goes up again, still cheaper than I would have expected, but $75 for the four gig and $90 for the eight gig. And there was also this story from Lilliputing. It does mention also features Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 in here. I know they do mention it in the specs, but the way I read it, it is a separate module. Maybe on some of the higher boards, they'll come with that. So it will definitely be interesting to see how it performs with such a low amount of RAM. I mean, I think for loads of things, it'll be fine. I think retro gaming will be fine. I think Linux will be fine. Uh, obviously different if you're going to use something like video editing or have loads and loads of tabs open. But I find I can have quite a few tabs open on a 4 gig device anyway, so I'm not too worried about that at all. I like the idea of the, the budget offering. I like the idea of being able to get something relatively inexpensive that performs. A bit like this little Coda laptop, which has really impressed me. I'm running Linux Lite on it at the moment, Ubuntu Linux Lite, and actually it works really, really well. Really nice operating system but I'm going to try more things with that in the future. 
and I look forward to putting this NVMe drive inside the Orange Pi 5. Okay, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.